Hi Fox, this is Lex again, and today we will start a new chapter on this YouTube channel. It's called the Live Lessons. You know, I'm a huge fan of uh, live performances and I like live recordings even more than the studios sometimes. You know, because um, when you're 40 years experienced musician <laughs> and playing for like 30 or 40 years the same old songs, um, you start to improvise and to think a little bit different and uh, I like the way these pros, these professional musicians are doing this. Within their borders, they got the same old songs, but they do it a little bit different than usually. And that's why uh, we'll try to learn the way they play it live. Yeah, so stay on the channel. Okay. Today we have a classic Pink Floyd song called The Dogs from the 1977 release album called Animals. It's my the second favorite album from the Pink Floyd. You know, it's a great period of Pink Floyd activity for me because it's the music is not that naive and, you know, wavy like the early Pink Floyd till the metal album and it's not over constructed and too I would say too serious like the final cut for example yeah so um, today we'll learn the main solo from the dogs song performed by Roger Waters during the In The Flash tour and played by a great guitar player, the Doyle Bram Hall II. You know, uh, before we will start, um, I'm trying to get as much as I can, as much as close as I can, uh, during playing the notes and the sound itself also. Yeah, it was obvious to use a strat for playing Pink Floyd and the Dog song. But uh, when you will listen to this live performance, you will hear that the uh, sound of the Doyle Bram Hall II is much differs from the one that performed by David Gilmour, for example. And I really tried to get close to his sound, but that's why I used uh, my Axis Super Sport for this lesson. Okay, before we start, here's some facts about the song called Dogs. So the fact number one is that originally the song was named the You Gotta Be Crazy and it was first performed during the live, uh, I think in 1974. Yeah, I gotta check it out, uh, this performance. Uh, 
you know, it's very interesting to see how the music improves from the first ideas into the final song and it's completely different, it's more wavy, uh, it's more air in the sound and it sounds more like the early albums, like even before the dark side of the moon. So check it out, pack number two. To have this special sound on the album, David Kilmer used a 59 double sunburst Telecaster and he used an Anak pickup for recording this main solo from the dog's song. Yeah. He also used his favorite high watt DR103 tube amplifier and a special Yamaha cabinet with the rotating speakers to have these, I don't know, chorus and not focus sound. So yeah, check it out. And of course, and of course, he used the big math pedal for a distortion. Also, it's not a secret that Pink Floyd band, when it was solid or even separated, they were accompanied by really good musicians. You gotta check it out, the backstage guitar players like Snowy White that was joined the Pink Floyd band during the Animals tour in 1977 first. Also, uh, I saw him playing live with the Roger Waters himself. Uh, I think it was during the uh, Wall 2010-2011 tour. Uh, also, uh, it was Tavik Kilmister during this tour, also a really nice player. Yeah, he was accompanying Roger Waters. Uh, now, uh, for Snow White, he, he, he has left the band and uh, Jonathan Wilson now joined his place and he's an amazing guitar player and a vocalist also and yeah. The Doyle Bramhall II joined Roger Waters' band during the In The Flash tour for three years. He was uh, accompanying him and he was as uh, the second guitar player with the Snowy White uh, and a back vocalist also. Yeah, all you gotta know <laughs> that he's a great, uh, you know, blues player, um, acting with Roger Waters or Eric Clapton and he's got his unique, you know, silent style. He is a left-handed guitar player that plays like, you know, the way that Jimi Hendrix do. So he is high E string. Here's on the <laughs> on the upper part of the neck, so it gives him a really unique sound for, for banding. Because uh, you don't band the up like we are handed guys do. <laughs> uh, so he bands the string down and it gives you more power and more, um, you know, <laughs> more weight to do the the step, the step and a half band and it really sounds amazing so check it out during the lesson. Okay, we will use the neck pickup first and we'll play this section with fingers hide and pick like this. We will start to band the harmonics on the 12 and 15 on the second string like this and then turn the volume a little bit off playing slightly with the fingers. A little bit banding. Okay, here we go with the bridge pickup for more aggressive sound and doing the pentatonic band. Operato, cut it here. Slide with one finger. That's it. The high three strings we pull up with a pick, a more aggressive way, like this. Lots of vibrato. And, and we cut the last phrase. Here's the main lick we played on the neck pickup again. And this holds lots of 
double bendings. Don't holler too much on the top. He will repeat the previous phrase again. This part plays in the live a little bit faster. And then we go for tremolo and the double bend. Okay, we switch to bridge pickup again and make a rough harmonics. It's not the same, maybe exactly like in the live, but lots of vibrato and cut it. Here we go for the neck again and repeats the main lick. Here we go for fingers and turning down volume a little bit. That's it. So yeah, that was it. I hope you guys really enjoyed the lesson and maybe this part of the channel will make you interesting. Yeah, so I mean the live lessons. So subscribe, donate and watch my videos. Have a nice day. See ya.